Hello and welcome back commanders and commanderettes. This is Chesty Puller with another War Commander video. This is holdout for low levels done with a low level base which has low level units. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and uh, take a look at the units real quick. So we're just going to use one um, cannon. He doesn't have any high uh, priority units. So, oh well, he has uh, the bounty hunter, but I tried the bounty hunter and the uh, bounty hunter is not a good option. <clears throat> His ridge runners are level five. So he only has uh, space for two tech on there. And uh, he has the sea wizard and uh, he can't go any higher because uh, he doesn't have a high enough um, tech center but he's at a level nine right now and um, he also has the landlock at level one so <clears throat> we're gonna start out here and I'm going to start out on base two for a reason. I want to show you something uh, so that you can do the bonus base, okay? Um, so we'll we'll go two, three, bonus, <clears throat> and then back to one. And I'll show you how this is all free repair. But I'm, I'm starting on two for a reason so that I can show you after the bonus base which is the most difficult base. You'll probably take some damage <clears throat> on your cannon um, because there's nowhere for your cannon to go. Let's just go ahead and see what kind of bonuses he has available here. That's it, I think. Uh, his tech tactical op center is not maxed out, and I don't want to spend 100 million of his thorium, so uh, I'm not going to put these other bonuses on. So uh, just that one, that one bonus, and then uh, he's not a clan leader, so he can't put on the other two bonuses from the clan, and the clan doesn't have those on right now, so just go with that one bonus. That's fine. I was just looking. I thought there was a second bonus here, but he doesn't have the tech center or the technical ops center up uh, to max level yet, and that's why I couldn't find it, because there should be an, uh, like a silver... Um, defense um, uh, or one just like this where you get more attack power more attack power helps because you kill the units just a little bit faster but if you look at these bonuses it's like very very min minuscule very minuscule it's not very it's not very much it's nothing to worry about so um, on your first base you're going to want to Number your units. I number my uh, ridge runners one through five. I make a five pointed circle there. And then I number um, the uh, landlock as number six. I put him on aggressive and then I number the uh, sea wizard as number seven. And put him on aggressive. <clears throat> now last holdout I helped this player uh, get the landlock and get the sea wizard he did not have the sea wizard he did not have the landlock and his uh, ridge runners were level one so I showed him how to do it and he's built up uh, he got the parts for the sea wizard which he did not have last time he also uh, built the sea wizard up and he also got the landlock and he asked me you know what should i build up the landlock or the sea wizard and i said the sea wizard because you know the sea wizard is unique the landlock is kind of filling a position of a ridge runner and i wasn't very impressed with the landlock before now with the tech that we got the landlock is much much better you see those uh explosive uh craters that's the landlock and wait, wait till you see the end here 
it's going to be everywhere. This landlock now doesn't miss. The original landlock uh, fireball misses. It's, it's not very powerful. The new landlock tech doesn't miss. It splits and then it, it, it does a uh, it does a crater and then it does like a hand grenade explosion. So it's got like two explosions that take place. And it is a very good tech and it one shots almost everything. And uh, because he doesn't have he is only level one, he can only have one tech on. So that's the tech that he has on is the uh, gold tech. Uh, I don't know the exact name split something split projectile or something like that. So um, with the cannon, um, what you're going to want to do with the cannon is that's going to be the unit you're going to want to move around the most. You do not put your, um, you make sure Ruby is off and you do not put uh, the Ridge Runners on aggressive. The Ridge Runners are very sensitive and are, are going to move on their own already. So you just create the circle with the ridge runners. You put the uh, the the uh, the landlock on aggressive and, and leave him in the center. And you put um, the uh, sea wizard on aggressive and you leave that unit in the center. And then you just move your cannon around. <clears throat> uh, so, and then there's another trick you can do with your cannon, which is um, uh, press stop. Let your orange ghost or your orange, uh, I don't know what they're called. They're sort of like fire runners, but I don't, I don't remember what they're called. Um, but the, um, you let those guys get away from your cannon and then you hit defense. And when you do that, the, he stays locked down away from your cannon because you don't want to get splash damage on your cannon. So wherever they're coming in at, you try to get away from there and you just sort of wait, wait it out until there's an opening. And when there's an opening, you go in that direction. See, there's nothing up there uh, currently at the top of the map, but you don't want to go too far out because things will come in. So you just sort of keep moving around wherever it looks safe, go there. And if, if they're coming from all directions like they, they often do, you have to sort of get to the center, lock it down, hit defense, and make sure that the, the orange ghost is not on top of any of your units. So, um, as I said, you know, don't forget to put on your XP boost. If this is your very first attack, uh, you won't be able to because you won't have any XP. But... Um, I don't know if you saw there, uh, just from doing a little bit yesterday, he's already got like 12 million, and I think he's already bought some stuff. So he's doing pretty good. Um, but I wanted to use his, uh, um, I asked him to if I could use this to show how a low level with lower level units can do this. Now, if you didn't know that you needed the Ridge Runners, if you didn't realize uh, you know, that they're a good unit. They're a good unit for a bunch of different things, not just base defense, but uh, for this event and and player versus player. So, uh, you know, if if you didn't realize that you needed the Sea Wizard or the Landlock or, or these guys, you're going to be in a different position. Uh, this can be done with other units. If you do have the Brother Devin, it's much better than the Cannon. Um, so if you do have the brother Devin, then, you know, you're miles ahead, but I, I put the cannon in here because I don't have a choice. And this is trying to prove my point that low levels can do this. Now, if you don't have the, la uh, the Ridge runners, you can use, um, cause mortars or, uh, you can also use, um, I'm trying to think what they are. They're the, the. The uh, ones that uh, that float, um, dang, I can't remember what they're called right now, uh, but the ones that came out after the cannons. 
I haven't found much use for them, but this would be a use for them. Let me see if I can find out what they're called. Okay, let's see. Okay, yeah. Centaurs. That's what they're called. Centaurs. So you could use centaurs um, or cosmorters. <clears throat> But if you if your if your uh, if your cosmorters have to have the ability to shoot the air, so they have to have that tech on them. It's the gold tech on the cosmorters. Most people, you know, probably have their cosmorters to level twenty and. Uh, um, because the uh, the centaurs weren't getting a lot of uh, action in the game, maybe people don't have their uh, centaurs up to level. Whichever you have the highest level on, I would say that would be the one to try to use. Uh, you do need a high priority unit in the center, and if you do not have yet the sea wizard, that would be your number one priority over the landlock. The landlock is nice, uh, but the the sea wizard is. Uh, is far more uh, of a requirement because it's the only one that is anti-air. Um, uh, high altitude, not, nothing can escape the, uh, the sea wizard. So um, it's a very good unit, particularly for base defense. And now we have two uh, high altitude units in the the form of Malachi and uh, um, the other new uh, high altitude unit, which I think is a great unit, hero unit, um, that uh, I I found to be a, like a must a must have unit. Um, and and for base defense, if you do have the Sea Wizard, those guys, even though they're so good, they really don't have a chance against the Sea Wizard. They're not going to be able to touch the Sea Wizard, and the Sea Wizard's going to kill them before they can get close. So the strategy for base defense now is try to draw the Sea Wizard out or get to the Sea Wizard. So if you pack everything around your Sea Wizard to protect your Sea Wizard, then um, you know it's difficult to kill the Sea Wizard. Just like on this base, everybody's coming in and the Sea Wizard doesn't even really take a scratch. And he kills all of the air. This is, by the way, only a level 9 Sea Wizard here. When the Sea Wizard gets to level 30, <laughs> it's a monster, man. Uh, it is a, a real monster. But imagine these ridge runners are level five. Um, so, you know, he can't even have all the workshop on him. Nothing has all the workshop on it. Nothing is maxed out. And it's pretty, it's pretty standard. This is going to be the standard thing that you do. You move the cannon around. Um, Make sure that you, you know, because you're moving around and you can't see everything, make sure you're not going to uh, accidentally click the wrong unit and then try to think you're moving the cannon, but you're moving something else. Um, as per usual, they did not give us any uh, repair tokens. I don't know why. Uh, we never seem to get those repair tokens. Okay, now we'll go on to the bonus base. See, that was instant repair on the map. Now, the bonus base is the only one where um, I think we'll take some damage, but only on the cannon, pretty much. The rest of it should be instant repair. But uh, here's the trick. If the cannon takes damage when we go back, right, we'll find out here, uh, then we'll take the cannon out, repair the rest of the platoon, 
put a new cannon in and then uh, into this platoon take the old damage cannon out and put it into another platoon and repair that cannon while we move on to the and, and repeat the cycle so we'll go right back to base one right after this bonus base and uh, the bonus base you see here's the problem you know how I've been moving the cannon around right well there's not that much space to move around on the bonus base because the units are coming in too fast and too furious and so there's not a lot of places to go and once the little orange ghost dies a new orange ghost pops up and when the second orange ghost dies there's a delay before another orange ghost pops up then the cannon becomes the target so the cannon will take damage depending on um, how many ghosts die so you have to protect your your ghost fire runners or whatever they want to call them uh, what are they called uh, admonishers you want to protect your admonishers okay and uh, and and you know sometimes it's hit and miss sometimes you're gonna get out of this for instant repair sometimes you're gonna take a little damage on your cannon uh, for my base I don't even move I just sit there uh, because I have the brother Devin and the brother Devin doesn't have uh, one drone he has three and I, I he hard he doesn't even take any damage and so I just sit there but again on my base you know all of my stuff is level 30 it's maxed out the only thing that I don't have maxed out right now is my landlock that's a level 20 um, but everything else is maxed out and so it just makes this a lot easier of course uh, but I just deploy spread out my five um, uh, Ridge runners and put the uh, sea wizard on aggressive and put the landlock on aggressive and then just let my brother Devin just sit there he never takes any damage uh, in most of the bases I think one through three I don't take any damage on anything and then on the fourth base uh, this particular base right here I'll take a little bit of damage but it'll be instant repair on the map and I don't have to do anything I just go make a coffee or something um, but with the lower level bases they're not killing everything quick enough so you have to sort of move your cannon around um, I do think that the cannon is immune to that uh, purple lava right there I do think he's immune to it because I've seen him take it and not take any damage in um, in the uh, in the thorium bases and I've seen him in different locations take that that uh, uh, that thorium lava and not seem to take any damage so I think that he is immune to the thorium lava uh, but I, I still just keep him moving if I can because I don't think that the ghost is immune to it um, or the admonisher I'll try to call him the admonisher from now on I don't think he's immune to it but you see all those craters there those are all <laughs> created by the landlock the landlock is just tearing up the map man um, with the new tech on him he's better than uh, I'd say he's equal to maybe two uh, of the Ridge Runners and um, and they're five levels higher than he is he's pretty good he's just a level one but this tech is like one shotting everything so that's cool even the Ridge Runners <clears throat> although it looks like yeah they're they're taking out the things pretty quick they have a lot of rapid fire and they but they don't one shot anything really they just shoot really fast and each shot is pretty powerful but it's not nothing's powerful enough to uh, on the on the Ridge Runners to one shot anything they take they take units out pretty quick though so uh, you just keep you just keep moving and um, try to keep um, away from everybody try to keep your ghost alive and that's the whole tactic uh, 
And the hardest one, like I said, is this one right here. This is the bonus base. And here's what I recommend. You don't have to do the bonus base, okay? So if you had if you struggled and you took damage on the third base, you're probably not gonna make it through um the bonus base. So I recommend restarting and going through one through three until you can upgrade and raise the levels and get the workshops that you need and so on and so forth until you can do this. That's what that's what he did. He wasn't able to do the bonus base uh, at the beginning. And I just told him, you know, just upgrade, buy whatever you can, um, and go one through three, one through three. And at the very beginning, he was taking a little bit of damage even on the base three. And when he got to the point where he was doing uh, the third base for... Uh, and this might sound like it took a long time. It took about an hour for him to get what he needed and to be able to get to, to be able to do the bonus base. So this doesn't take that long because one through three, you can do it in about, what is it, about 20 minutes or so, something like that. Um, so here, this is what I'm talking about. This is the trick. This is why we started on base two. So you come in here, you take out the cannon, because the cannon is typically what you're gonna take the damage on. Everything else is free repair. Put the cannon in another bait, uh, in another place. No room here, so I'll have to move something out. Take a new cannon with you. I'll put that thing back so his platoon is back to normal. And then, uh, and then I'll take that new cannon and put it in here. We're ready to go. And I, even though that's not uh, instant repair, I consider that instant repair because here we go. We're back on the map again. And by the time we get out of base one, uh, that unit, which had like, I don't know what it was. I, I didn't pay attention, but like nine minutes worth of damage or something will be done because we're gonna be in this base for about eight minutes, right? I think it takes about eight minutes to do this thing. So eight and eight and eight, that's about 24 minutes you can do one through three. And um, so it might be a little bit less than eight minutes because usually there's like, like eight minutes left at the end or nine minutes left at the end and they give you like, 14 minutes so it's a little bit less than eight minutes I think uh, per uh, per attack but this is the level one uh, base so I'm gonna not even move okay I'm just gonna set this up I'm gonna use that trick I was telling you about how you put your uh, ghost on defense all right and then notice because my cannon is on the outside ring or the outside circle my cannon will also be able to uh, defend. <clears throat> and then one other thing about the cannon. Do not forget to put the uh, shock op on for this, for this event. You need the shock op because the, the, uh, if you don't, you're going to take too much damage. You have to have the shock op on here. It is a must-have for the holdout event because... All of the heavy units can be shocked. The tanks, the rocket launchers, and then there's a second kind of tank. Uh, so there's three units that can be that can be shocked. And if you don't shock them, your the the rocket launchers get that purple. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, thorium lava out there, and they cause damage. I don't think the thorium lava causes damage that much, but the but the, their their shot causes damage, and uh, and then um, when you're running around, right? If you have the shock up on, and you see those tanks coming, you can run towards the tanks and shock them and stop them, 
And, uh, you know, because if, if from, like, say, the west side of the base, there's a bunch of infantry coming, you can't get away from the infantry. You also can't get away from the buggies. So, uh, I mean, they're going to shoot you. So you need to get away from them. You need to get to the opposite side because you can't avoid their shots if they're next to you. And uh, the, the mechanized infantry has that purple missile, which is very damaging uh, to your ghost. And if, you're, if the ghost is near one of your units, there is uh, a large um, AOE, uh, excuse me, a splash damage on that, that missile that they shoot. So you will take damage uh and and those guys can after about two or three hits they can take out your cannon so you got to stay away from the mechanized infantry but go towards the tanks because you can shock them the tanks are basically uh useless against your um against your cannon because you've got you outrange them and you can shock them and you can stop them um so uh yeah, if you have a choice, go towards the tanks. If the, uh, Sometimes the tanks are surrounded by infantry, and then that doesn't work. But most of the time, the last uh, wave of tanks, it's they're just all by themselves, and they are sitting ducks for your cannon. But, you know, particularly for this base, you'll see that I'm just sitting here on lockdown. I don't have to do anything. All this is you know just being taken care of by the ridge runners who are not on ruby and who are not on uh, aggressive or anything and the landlock which is on aggressive and look at all those craters that the landlock created so that is all four of the holdout bases and <clears throat> as i said when we come back here this will be free repair so that's how you do free repair for a low level. Hope it was helpful, guys. See you next time. Enjoy the video.